Hey everybody, final thoughts, time for Paris L'Etoile. And before I get to that, please remember this was a paid Kickstarter preview and with that out of the way, you know what? As I said a couple of years ago, Paris is fantastic. Once again, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen and go watch my original run through where I played quite a bit further, got to where I was starting to do landmarks. So you could see a little bit more of the gameplay, but Le Toile definitely elevates the gameplay. I mean, it is nice definitely to have several new bonus tiles that do a lot of really interesting stuff as just one-off powers. That's really cool, but what's much more important are all these special tiles. Everybody gets one right from the get-go and and then, depending on the player count, there is a pool of 8 to 10 additional ones just sitting there, just begging for you to come and grab them. And how do you grab them? It's something I really appreciate. It's by going to the Ark. Because in the regular game, without these, the only reason you come here, you don't make any money off of it. It's just kind of for long term. It is great that it gives you flexibility, but it always kind of feels like... I should be doing better. I should just commit and actually make some money while I'm doing my investments instead of getting no investments. But now, coming here is what lets you change one power. That, okay, I don't have any use for this power anymore. I, I'm, I really, you know, I've already gotten everything I wanted to get out of level four buildings. I think I'm going to go to the arc specifically to get rid of this and replace it with this one. Um, you know, like this is a re this is a game changer. This one says in a two player game, you get three francs anytime anybody goes to the arc. And that's really cool. And this introduces, I mean, several of these are things that will be triggered when you do something or when other players do things. Uh, and that's really, really cool because all of a sudden, now that I have this, other players don't want to go to the Ark anymore because they're afraid of giving me money. And But I now desperately want to go to the Ark because I actually get money, I get the cash, and I get it. Um, but there might come a point when I say, you know what, I don't need to have the flexibility of being on the Ark anymore. I'm looking for a very specific tile, at which point I might want to trade out one power for this one because this actually lets me look at the building tiles before I draw them. Um, you know, Or we're later in the game and uh, you know all of the... Um, the the bonus or the you know the resource tiles have been already snagged up. Hey, this says I can take resource tiles out of the supply even if the space is empty. So um, as the game goes on and evolves, and you find yourself with different needs, you can be swapping those in and out, and that's really cool. I like it a lot. You know, it it doesn't really add any extra overhead um, to the game. It's still just like the original without the expansion. A beautiful, clean, fast, elegant game. For from Kramer and Kiesling, you know, the masters of elegant Euro design, they've kept their elegance, but they have added this extra wrinkle that can, you know, really change the direction of the game in several cool ways. Now, if I had any complaints about it, and I do have one, I do think it is a bit overwhelming in a two-player game to have my one special power and ten different special powers I could swap it for. That just feels like a lot. In a four-player game, there'd only be eight, and that would be a little bit less, but I almost kind of wonder if there might have been a very to say, hey, you know what? After everybody gets their starting ones, um, and and you know the rest are there. Uh, ensure there's only six on display, so that oh, the game's a little special. This is a game where there isn't the special arc thing, so the arc isn't going to be special. But now the the uh, visibility thing is here instead. I could see that maybe being in the same way you get variability set up every time you play with all your bonus tiles, the way they're scattered around, and you know the collection tiles, and you know drawing. It'd be kind of nice to say, hey, you know what? The uh, special powers that are available to us this game, it's going to be a different selection as opposed to it's always the same. 12 special powers every single time you play. Um, both because it, it means there's a little bit less variability and also because it is it's a lot to think about. And when I was playing with my wife, it definitely introduced a fair bit of analysis paralysis. She was like constantly double checking. Well, first of all, this one can really add the analysis paralysis. I never want Jen to get this car tile again because at the beginning of every turn, she would have to dutifully look at every single one of these and think long and hard about now that I know what all these buildings are, which one am I going to place, you know, to benefit her and not benefit me. And, um, and then on top of that, uh, if she's ever thinking about switching, she's got a lot of decisions to make. So, for some people, that's great. I mean, because this is a really fast game. You play a tile, you move a key. That's it. Your whole turn. Turns are really, really quick. This does add an extra layer of complexity that will give you more to think about. And I think for some people, maybe that's what Paris needed, desperately. Um, I thought Paris was great as it was. I, didn't, I wasn't jonesing for more content, but I do really appreciate this, and I do think it does elevate the game. And that is it, folks. That is Paris 
L'Etoile. And uh, again, you, it's on Kickstarter right now. You can hit that eye in the top right corner of the screen to learn more. And otherwise, thanks for watching the preview. Have a nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.